Okay, here we have the residential air conditioner or heat pump disconnect. This will be located in the outside of the building. It has to be a waterproof disconnect, uh, meaning rainproof, not really waterproof. This top area has to be able to uh, keep the rain from getting inside. Uh, there's a little latch thing down here uh, that you can put a uh, lock in. Uh, I would not put a lock in that thing. Uh, seems like somebody always loses the key or some silly thing and if you do need to get to it quickly uh, you're gonna have troubles getting to it because you won't have the key there. So uh, I don't recommend putting any kind of lock in there. I know some people say well kids will play with it and so on and that's probably true. Uh, push that down, lift this up and then it should stay up we hope. Now, okay, here we have the uh, disconnect open. Uh, the only thing wrong with this one is there should be a plastic shield in here. That shield is uh, to protect uh, in case a little kid gets in there or something like that so he can't get in there and get his fingers onto these uh, terminals because that is lethal voltage. It's 240 volts. Uh, if you were to take and put your fingers right across there uh, you get 240. Worse yet, if you did it like that, you get right across the body. Good way to get killed. Uh, okay, the on is showing in the up position. That means this thing's hot down here. Uh, and it's ready to work. If you want to kill this thing, if you want to uh, work inside this, you got to pull this off. Now, you can either remount it back in there, okay, if you look at it, at it now, you can see the off position, It's uh, the off is up, so there's no power coming through it now. I would double check it or with your uh, voltmeter, uh, but you can keep the thing in here in case you you might lose it or something like that. You can put it in there like that. When the when the off can be red, it's off. When the on can be red, it's on. And uh, incoming power from your panel is coming in right here into these terminals here. These terminals are not disconnected when I pull this uh, plug. Uh, they're hot from the house. So if you're going to tighten those, and you should be tightening these, you're going to have to turn this off at the breaker panel inside the house. But what we're talking about today is problems with these. Now if you open this thing up and your fuses are right there, now that these are uh, 30 amp fuses and they're uh, motor uh, load fuses or time delay fuse. And we've talked about fuses before and the different ones to use. If you come here and it's burned, and I did have a video on burned fuses, if you come in and this fuse is burned on either end or across the whole thing, and this is all this color, it's not the fuse. It's not an overload. It's nothing like that. It is these clamps are not holding tight or one of these screws is not tight. I cannot overemphasize tight for electrical connections. It's, uh, it's one of the things you just have to do. It has to be tight. So uh, if you come on to this where this uh, uh, is uh, discolored, it doesn't fit in tight, you can clean them up and put them back in. It probably won't work because these little copper pieces here have lost their spring. They're a tempered uh, copper and they lose their spring and they don't hold well. Uh, so if you come onto that, there's sand and stuff in the bottom of this, that's from inside these things. A lot of them have sand inside them or diatomaceous earth or some silly thing. And uh, one of them's burnt. You need to replace the disconnect. These little disconnects, you can't buy parts for them. 
uh, you know, if you got a good size three phase or something, yeah, you can probably buy parts for it, but these you can't. But during just a service, you should be coming into this thing. Here's where your hot lead comes out. You should be reefing these down. Each one of these things take a good solid turn on it. Now, this means the power's off. Don't do this with a power on. You'll get a shock on this silly thing. Once you have pulled, there'll be no power here. Now, double check it with the meter before I did anything because there are disconnects, not so much this type, but there are disconnects that sometimes they don't turn off. I found out the hard way on that. So, uh, check it with the meter. Go across these terminals right here, not these down here, because these are downstream of the fuses. Uh, but check across there and there. Uh, if you've got no voltage, also while you're doing this, I would also check from here to this uh, grounding bar and from here to the grounding bar. Because some breakers, double breakers, do not kick off all the way either. They only kick one side some of them. The newer ones uh, are not set up that way, but the old ones did. So, uh, these wires here are going to the outdoor unit. These need to be tight. This is a ground. I would tighten the ground. Uh, and this here is the leads coming in. These need to be tightened too. However, this is not off when this is in the off position. Now, you know, they've kind of hidden these back here, so they're not real easy to get to. But you can put a screwdriver in there to tighten these things down. Well, that's hot. Even with this in the off position, it's still hot. So uh, you need to look at that. Uh, go to your breaker panel, kick off the breaker, and then double check. Always double check these things. Uh, there's too many places I've gone into the breakers are mismarked. And when they're mismarked, boy, you really don't know. So, a uh, little bit closer on this, to, so maybe you can see those parts a little better. Uh, these two wires should be tightened after I turn the breaker off in the house. Once I pull this disconnect, I can tighten these two wires, and of course this one should be tight also. Uh, and that is the disconnect. Any blue marks on any of the parts, uh, any blue or black on these copper strips here or of course on the fuses or on these clamps means they've been overheating and if they have overheated throw the thing away get a new one. And that's the simple disconnect for an air conditioner or heat pump.